Don't go nowhere, Uncle X. You gotta get educated, Uncle X. We have had no success under the tenets of Islam. You know, I, says, I hate the white man guts. I hate his hair. I hate how he looks. I hate how he talks. And I hate the way he dealt with my people. Bring it again. Bring it again. I'm in the bag down. I'm in the trenches with a war. Eh? Looking for it. Eh? I ain't finna bag down. I'm in the gutter with a poor. Eh? Islam is not the black man's religion. I ain't finna back down, no, no, no. Living legend, feeling pleasant with some. What? I want to say what you're saying. The Quran, they wrote the did the white Did the white man or the black man write the Bible? The black man wrote the Quran. I'm not talking about the Quran. I'm talking about That's the Bible. The, Bible. the, Quran Did the black Bible. man or the white man write the, the Bible? Quran ain't no Bible. No, give me Isaiah 34, 16. So, and do any of y'all know the history of Islam? You say the Quran started with Islam. Do you know any history about Islam? Africa. Islam. That's a word. I want history. You know any history about Islam? Because you keep talking about Islam, right? So I'm going to edify all y'all out here. Do you know any history on Islam? Okay, we you cooking with gas, bro? You cooking with gas, D? Come on, bring me that. I'm gonna show y'all some history about the religion of Islam and should the black man be inside of that religion? Go ahead. I don't know nothing about Google. From Babylon to Timbuktu, I ruled off Windsor. We gonna educate you right quick. Go ahead. With the defeat of Jewish and Christian power, so Rudolf R. Windsor, he went over to the Middle East and he learned the history of Islam from the from the old people that started it. Watch what he said about it. Go ahead. With the defeat of Jewish and Christian power in Arabia, come on, the stage was now set for the rise of a new power on the world scene. Read. This new power was Arabia, uh -huh. the Arabian Empire. So Arabs started coming up as a people. They started getting power. Read. With its new religion, Islam. Islam. The new religion, Islam, is here. Let's read about it. Just listen, read. When Muhammad was born, many was born, many Arabs were still worshiping the sun, stars, spirits, and idols. So when Muhammad was born, Arabs were worshiping the sun, stars, and everything you see in the sky. They had a God for the cloud. They had a God for every single day of the year. Read on. The Arabs possessed 360 idols. They had 360 gods. Because when you read the Bible, the, the year is not 365 days. It's only 360. So, he, they had a god for 360 days. One god for each day. And the greatest god among them, don't go nowhere, Uncle X. you got to get educated, Uncle X. Don't go nowhere, Uncle X. You have to educate your Uncle X. Don't go nowhere. The greatest God in the Islam faith and religion, his name was Hubal. Guess what symbol Hubal had? The crescent moon. Now, can somebody Google Islam? Symbolic Islam? One person. Thank you. Google Islam symbolism. Let's see if the crescent moon pops up. Let's see if the crescent moon pops up. Bring it up. Bring it up. One for each day of the year. Listen, Uncle X, read. Muhammad was born A.D. 570. So Muhammad was born 570 A.D., right? Come on. Four years oh, after right. the death of listen, Emperor listen, Justinian. Uncle X, you're getting educated right now. Listen, go ahead. You're in the classroom right now. Let the teacher teach. Read. His mentality was prodigious. Uh -huh. In his youth, he was never taught to read or write. I want you to show that to every. Show it to Uncle X. Look at that. Look at that. That is the symbol of Hubal. Look at it. Hey, boy, I lost. Look at it. That's the symbol of Allah because Hubal is Allah and Hubal is an idol. Yeah. Read. But his imagination was superlative. Muhammad was an extraordinarily. Jump down. Read. After Muhammad became a camel driver. What was he? Camel driver. That, Muhammad was an Arab and he drove taxis. <laughs> Muhammad was an Uber driver. <laughs> He traveled to remote and intriguing lands. So your prophet 
traveled to remote and intriguing lands as an Uber driver. Read. He led his caravans to Persia, Read. Syria, Read. and Egypt, uh -huh. transacting business with merchants of every kind. Come on. On his business trips, he met Jews. He met what? Jews. Now, stop. Who are the Jews? D, who are the Jews? Who is that? Black what? You say black people. Okay. I like that answer because we are the Jews. What do you say? Who are the Jews? Y'all ever been to Oak Park? How come these you got people walking down the street calling themselves Jews with yarmulkes on their head? They converted. You already know. You know what I'm saying? Uh, they convert black people with Jews. You see, I got you. Yeah, who you say the Jews are? Us. Us? Okay, so I'm gonna bring it down there. Who do you say the Jews are? Okay, good. So Muhammad went to the Jews, that's black men. Let's see what Muhammad did. Read. On his business trip, he met Jews, uh -huh. Christians, and members of other sects. Read. He inter he interrogated them concerning the tenets of their religion. He said, What y'all believe in? What do y'all think about? What, what kind of God do y'all serve? This is what Muhammad did. Go ahead. He frequented the environment of the Jews and their rabbis. Read. Mostly because they were merchants and an um, omnipresent ethnic group. Read. Because he could not read or write. What? Who? What? Who could Muhammad read? couldn't. Muhammad couldn't do what? Read or write. Was the Prophet Alaihissalam illiterate? And the answer is yes, definitely. It's a consensus of scholars that the Prophet Alaihissalam did not know how to read nor write. So, what's the word for that? Muhammad is illiterate! We talk about this prophet, the illiterate prophet! Right. And he wasn't no damn prophet, I'm gonna prove that out the Bible! Because you know what it is, I used to be afraid we are here in the slums, in the ghettos. Like, like subscribe, that comment, like you share, all that good stuff. If you wanna right see more people. content like this, he subscribe. His ears were attentive and can you listen. Who wrote Muhammad that? Well, I'll prove that in a second. Give me a second, Who brother. Right now we're talking man. about Islam. Right now we're talking about Islam. Don't jump. Stay on point. You know what I'm saying? The teacher don't man. teach another subject. We on this subject right here. So now Muhammad couldn't read or write, he but his ears right, his ears way. were attentive. He could listen and talk. Read. His ears were attentive and keen to everything that the Jews related to him. Okay, come on. Muhammad learned and extracted much from the Jewish religion Read. and compounded it with his new religion, his Islam. New what? Religion, Islam. He created a religion called Islam after he talked to the Jews. Read Isaiah 34 and 16. So, and then I want Amos 2 and 12. Muhammad started the religion of Islam after he talked to the Jews. Polytheism is many gods. Y'all with me? Y'all with me? Polytheism is many gods. He turned his religion to a monotheistic religion. That's one God. And that God is what? Hubal, the crescent moon. And have you ever, you're, you, you study Islam, right? Yeah. Have you ever did a Hajj? Yeah. You did a Hajj? Yeah. You went to Mecca? Yeah. Not yet, right? No, what do they do in Mecca? That's right. To what? To, to what? <laughs> to what? To what a Jesus. What is in the middle of Mecca? They said Jesus was there. No, hell no, he ain't no damn Mecca. Hey, uh, P, right? Jesus ain't no, go to Mecca. D, D, you P, right? Yeah. He ain't D. go to Egypt. What is in the middle of Mecca? A cube. A cube. What's inside the cube? You don't know. Okay. What do you think? What's in, what is in the middle of, he's supposed, he's supposed to do a hodge. What is in the middle of Mecca? The Kaaba stone. What Jesus Christ did. Muslims say that it came from the sky and hit the ground, and you're supposed to worship the Kaaba stone. Yeah. This is what he believes in. So now, let's see what God has to say about the Kaaba stone. Hold that. Go to Jeremiah. Get that. Well, Jeremiah, chapter 2, verse 27. Come on. Saying to a stock. What is a stock? A stock is a piece of wood. Who prays to a piece of wood? It starts with a C. Let me see if I can find him right you now. Across, Let's see. Oh, he said it. What did they pray to at that place down there? A cross. A what? A cross. A piece of wood. Christians pray to a cross. Go ahead. Thou art my father. Dude, they say to the, to the stock, you are my father. Read. And to a stone. And to a what? A stone. A what? 
stone into a stone, Reed. Thou hast brought me forth. So when they go to the Kaaba stone, when they go to a Kaaba stone, they're saying, you have brought me forth, Allah. That is called idolatry. Right. Islam is not the black man's religion. Go to Isaiah 34 and 16. I'm going to prove it to you. Just listen to me. Is Islam is not the black man's religion. Islam is the religion of our oppressors. How do we learn Islam back in the day? You go to Africa, what that is. Islam. We got the sub saying on here? D, check this out. K, check this out. Look, look at the hair. Look at the thing on the hair. What's on the person's head? What's that called? Look on the person's head right here. What's that called? Give me Jeremiah 3 and 2. Right here. Huh? A hijab. Why is somebody with a hijab whipping a black person? Because of the sub Saharan slave trade. That's right. The black man learned Islam in sub Sahara during the slave trade, where Mecca was the greatest slave port on the face of the earth at one time. Bring it out. Go to Jeremiah chapter 3, verse you 2. You go to and say that. Lift up thine eyes. Until we don't go to Africa and say that. Just not right now. Read. Lift up thine eyes unto the high places. Come on. And see where thou hast been not been lying with. See who you not been defiled with. Read. In the ways hast thou sat. This brother is sitting for what? Read. In the ways thou hast sat for them. Huh? As the Arabian. As the what? Arabian. As the what? Arabian. This brother is sitting for Islam, Islam as the Arabian. Islam like you are not Arabian. You are an Israelite, sir. Now, we cut that nonsense about Islam. Let's get to the different point that Cam was talking about. Who wrote the Bible? Round two. Psalm 68, verse 11. Uh -huh. Who wrote the Bible? Uh -huh. was, it, was it King James that wrote the Bible? King James, the white man. So King James wrote the Bible? Okay. Go to the preface. Go to the preface, the beginning of this book. Islam. Uncle X. Uncle X, we have to destroy Islam easily with three precepts. Where all the people come from? Africa. What? Where are you going? Where are you walking away? You said the white man wrote the book. I'm trying to talk to you now. I'm finna go oh, get you now. I'm finna go. I'm finna go get the Quran from out the gas station. What? I'm working. You gonna use it for toilet paper? I'm a pray to. I'm a pray to. Stop it. Get some help. Don't pray to it, brother. That's not like God. If you pray to the Quran, you'll be destroyed by Christ when he returns with his angels. Yeah. So now, uh, Ken, you said the white man wrote the Bible. He said King James. Let's prove him wrong. Ho read that first part right there. King James of Great Britain, France, and Ireland. So King James ruled Great Britain, France, and Ireland. Do you know what color he was? You said King James? Yeah. No, no. You know? Black. King James was a black man. Yeah. When you read a book called Nature Shows No Color Line, it talks about his features. They said he has a Negroid cast. That means he was black. Yeah. Now, did King James write the Bible? Read that. By the Most High. Let's start. To the Most High and Mighty Prince. Read. James. James. By the grace of God. By the grace of God. Now, read this part right here. Writes. Writes in the authorized. In the what? Authorized. Now, here's the question. What does authorized mean? Permission. Huh? You said permission, yeah. right? I like that. Y'all agree? Permission. Is author and authorized the same word? No. It's author. No. It's not, right? No. King James did not author the Bible. He authorized the Bible. That means he gave permission for the Bible to be printed in a certain in his language. In his word. So we, we just proved you wrong, Uncle X. The Bible is not a white man's book. It was not written by white men. All King James did. I was saying. Like, what was you saying? Certain stuff was just flipped around. Cut him real quick. But what was you saying? Certain stuff was flipped around. Like what? I can't really tell you too much right now. I can't, I can't really tell you too much. All right, now I don't really read the Bible. Right, stuff man, I go by. What was flipped around? Like what? Hey, what's like, oh, you ain't subscribed yet? Look at this guy, man. You ain't right, man. Get to press the button. Press the button. This is 
Corinthians 11. 2 Corinthians 11. Perception is the switch around. Perception. Would you agree with that? Is that something that got switched around? I guess so. Perception. What is the what is the fate of the white man according to the Bible? What do you say, uh, Uncle X? Do you know? Would you read the Quran? Huh? You you read the recitation of the Bible. You might not know. Pete, what is the fate of the white man in the scriptures? I got a whole chapter. They're enslaved black people. What is the fate of the white man according to the Bible? That's what they did. You said judgment, plagues, death. What you said? Captivity. What you say? Enslaved. Want to hear everybody's thought? What is the what is the fate of the white man according to the Bible? Enslaved trade. But you say the Bible wrote the white man wrote the prophet. The Bible. He should have wrote blessings in uh. Uh, blessing is in longevity for himself, right? Let's see. What did the white man write in here? Did he write blessings in longevity or did he write death and destruction? Death did God destruction. write death and destruction? Death and destruction. Let's watch this, Ken. Go to Isaiah, white go to Psalm 16 and 11 real quick. Then we're going to go to Job 20. Ken, I'm going to show you real quick who white actually wrote the Bible. So you know, all right? Psalm chapter 16, verse 11. Listen to this, Uncle X. Go ahead. The Lord gave the word. Who gave the word? The Lord gave the word. Joshua 6, who gave the word? The Lord gave the word. The Lord gave the word. Y'all see that? What? No. The great God of heaven and earth, the black Messiah. Read. Great was, was the company of those that published it. If you be quiet, you will learn. Go ahead. Great was the company of those that published it. What does that mean, Ken? Great was the company of those that published it. Isaiah published the Bible. He wrote what God told him to write. Jeremiah wrote what God told him to write. Joel wrote what God told him to write. Uh, David wrote what God told him to write. And then they compiled it and turned it into the Bible. So who gave the word? Who gave prophecies about what was going to happen in America? Moses. Moses was what color? Black. Oh, let's prove it. Exodus chapter 4, verse 4. How do we know if Moses was black or not? How do we know? Because we can say he's black, but the white man, when you write Moses into Google Images, he comes up as a white man, right, Pete? So let's see. Exodus 4 and 6. Verse 6. And the Lord said, Furthermore unto him, put now thy hand into thy bosom. And he put his hand into his bosom. So check this out, right? He did just like this. He said, put your hand in your bosom, right? That's what we just read, right? Go ahead. And he took it out. Now he took his hand out of his bosom. He did just like that. Let's see what happened. Read. Behold, his hand was leprous as snow. If his hand was already white, right? If his hand was already white, if he took it out of his bosom and it was white again, would he start tripping? Yeah. Hell no. If you have a car, you got a black charger. You take that black charger and you put it into the car wash, right? Hey, and they come out black. You like, all right, cool. My car's clean. But if you put your black charger in a car wash and it came out white, you like, what the fuck? Where the hell is my car? Yo, who, who, who touched my... You know what I'm saying? You'll be tripping. That's why Moses was tripping when his hand turned his different flesh. Because Moses was what? Black. black. Moses was black. Hebrew. And if Moses wrote to black people that you see on this sign, that means the Bible was written by black men, for black men, to black men, about black men. That's right. For the future of black men. This is what you have to understand. It's not the Quran that's going to save us from this predicament. We had the Quran when Malcolm X was here. And Malcolm X movement got destroyed. Now we're trying to come back to the true movement of Christ. That's why he said, great was the company of those that published it. Job published it. He was black. David published it. He was black. Solomon published it. We just, my brother earlier, he just showed you Solomon was black. This is the Bible. This, the Bible is the black man's book, whether you believe it or not. You understand that? If your future, or if the future of the oppressor is death and destruction, and you follow the oppressor, what will happen to you? Ooh. Death, and death and destruction. You follow the Arab oppressor. You knew that? That's crazy. Read. Job chapter 20 and verse 1. Read. Then answered so far the Naamite and said, Therefore, do my thoughts cause me to answer? Read. And for this, I make haste. This is why I make haste. I'm. I'm I'm tripping about this right here. Go ahead. I have heard the check of my reproach. Read. And the spirit of my understanding. Read. Causing me to answer. Read this. Knowest thou not this of old? Since man was placed upon earth. So, Pete, did you not know since man was placed on the earth? 
Read on. That the triumphing of the wicked is short. The what? The triumphing of the wicked is short. Who? I'm going to ask you. You probably know. Who is the wicked? The white man. Who? He create wars. He destroy people. I like that. You, you agree with what he said? You agree with what he said? Who is my brother right here with the hat? My brother right here with the hat in the green. Who is the wicked according to the Bible? The white man. I mean, with the green. Who is the wicked according to the Bible, sir? White man. He destroyed okay. shit. No, I just asked you one. Who is the wicked according to the Bible? Yeah. Who is that? Okay, that's a good question, right? Malachi chapter 1. Read. Malachi chapter 1, verse 1. Read. The burden of the word of the Lord to Israel. Come on. By Malachi. By who? By Malachi. Read. I have loved you, said the Lord. God says, I love the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Read. Yet ye say. Yet ye say. Wherein has thou loved us? Because right now it looks like God doesn't love us. Because we're the last hire in the first fire. We get shot down by each other in the streets. We get shot down by cops like George Floyd had a knee on his neck and nobody came to save his life. That's why it looks like, where in hast thou loved us, God? It looks like you don't love us. Read on. Was not Esau Jacob's brother? Uh oh, now we're talking about something. Was not Esau Jacob's brother? Read. Said the Lord. Come on. Yet I love Jacob. Yet I what? Love. Jacob. Yet this is Esau. This is Jacob. He said, was not Jacob Esau's brother? Yet I love Jacob. God loves his black race. Because his black race looks just like him. Moves just like him. Acts just like him. That's why when a black man touched a uh, basketball, billions of dollars started to flow. But when a white man was thrown in, nobody watched that garbage. Read. And I hated Esau. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I thought God. Said at the most high God. Read. For the dragons of the wilderness. Come on. Whereas Edom say it. Whereas Edom say it. Edom is the so called white man. This is Edom. What does Edom say? Come close, bro. Listen. Read. Black. We are in poverty. Edom said, hey. We are in poverty. This is history we're talking about now. Yeah. Edom, at some point, the white man was impoverished. When was that? When was that? Black man created white man. That's true. But when was the white man impoverished? What do you got? I don't know. You don't know. It's okay. When was the white man impoverished? This, you know, this, this is where they start history in the schools. 1800, 1900, whatever. <laughs> Have y'all ever heard of the Renaissance period? Yeah. 19. That is when the white man started to get his money back. The yeah. Renaissance means rebirth. Yeah. The white man started to be reborn as a nation. He started to take, take over, over, conquer different lands during the renaissance period that's also the period that he wrote that he put this out in the in the, uh in the vibration yeah this is the period that he wrote leonardo da vinci that's it right what da vinci. was that, what was that leonardo da vinci? da vinci drew his gay lover caesar bolger as jesus christ and now everybody on the face of the earth thinks this is jesus christ no this is the devil the bible speaks of read where is he didn't him say it. He didn't mess him up. They mess him up. Hey, we turn it back Come on. But we will return uh -huh. and build the desolate place. That is the white man coming back during the Renaissance period and rebuilding the desolate place. Read. Thus said the Lord of hosts. Watch this, Pittsburgh. Go ahead. They shall build. They shall what? Build. But what? But I will throw down. God said the white man will build, but he, he will throw it. down. How is America? How is America gonna get thrown down? Black man. I'm talking about some real stuff right now. How is America gonna get thrown down? Let's see. Is it China? 
Does China going to come up out of nowhere and take over the face of the world? Hell no. Is that Bible prophecy? No. Zechariah 14 and verse 12. How is America going to fall? Because this kingdom will fall just like Rome fell. Just like Greece fell. Just like Persia fell. Just like Babylon fell. This kingdom, this empire will fall. And a new empire will rise. Zechariah chapter 14 and verse 12. And this shall be the plan. This is what's going This is prophecy. Your prop, the prophet is here to tell you the truth. The prophecy that's about to come down on America. Now you're in the midst of the spirit of prophecy right here. Read. Listen, Uncle X, don't disrespect God. Read. The Lord will smite all the people. God is going to smite all of the people in America. Read. That have fought against Jerusalem. That fight against God's chosen people. That destroy them with red lining. That, just, that make them last higher first fire. That put them in prison houses. And all of those that follow the white man's ways. That go to the church every week. To hear lies that follow islam to hear lies that celebrate christmas to celebrate their birthday you will be smote by the most high god read their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet what can do hold on what can do that what can make your flesh consume away while you stand on your feet pete what you got drink what was the question again what can make you Read it one more time for Pete. Their flesh. Their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet. What can make that happen? Drug. Huh? Atomic bomb. Uh, more than an atomic bomb. Yeah. A nuke. A nuke. The Bible just prophesied about a nuke. Watch this. Psalms 91. Like verse 4. Who got the nuke? Yes. Who gave them the nuke? The black people. Hell no. Black people ain't built a nuke a day in their damn life. Worry about smoking blunts and following Islam to build loops. Read Psalms chapter 91 and verse 4. Read. He shall cover thee. With don't believe in uh, propaganda. Read. He shall cover thee with his feathers. Watch this. And under his wings shalt thou trust. Watch this. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Read. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror that by night. Uh huh. Nor for the no, arrow no, no, no. that the what? What? That fired by day. What shape is the nuke in? The bomb. Huh? What's that arrow? It said what? What? The bomb. Oh, shoot. You know the Bible talking about real stuff. You thought this was a fairy tale book. Read. The arrow. I want the arrow. Yes, you gotta, sir. You got to hear the arrow again. Yeah, it, it, it hit someone when you said when they read that. Go ahead. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night. Read. Nor for the arrow. Which what? You take fire by day. What does it look when a, when a missile flies in the air? What does it look like? Oh. Um, what would it look like to David that would have seen it in the future? You ain't gonna see it. It would have looked like an arrow. That's right. Read. Nor for the pestilence that walking in darkness. Now watch this. Nor for the destruction. The what? The these arrow that destruction. brings what? The arrow that brings destruction, read. That wasted at noonday. What kind of arrow can waste things? A nuclear bomb. That's why we out here to save y'all from the nuke. That's why we told Unk to come out of that Islam garbage. That's why we're telling y'all, don't look at the Bible like it's a white man's book. Look at it like it's your book. This is our power. The reason why we believe the white man wrote this Bible is for us to come away from it, come away from our power. He want to separate you from your web. You understand? Y'all give us your number so we can call y'all and invite y'all to the school. Show up. Just don't bring your Quran. That is when God is going to give us success, Pete. That's when God is going to give us success. It will not be when we follow Islam. We will have we have had no success under the tenets of Islam. Now we must go under the tenets of the Most High God. That's when our success will come. What is the nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with robots.